Many people watching at home have health insurance coverage through their employer. Who here would abolish their private health insurance in favor of a government-run plan? Just a show of hands to start off with. All right, well, Senator Klobuchar, let me put the question to you. You're one of the Democrats who wants to keep private insurance in addition to a government uh, health care plan. Why is an incremental approach, in your view, better than a sweeping overhaul? Well, I think it's a bold approach. It's something that Barack Obama wanted to do when we um, were working on the Affordable Care Act, and that is a public option. I am just simply concerned about kicking uh, half of America off of their health insurance in four years, which is exactly what this bill says. So let me go on beyond that. There is a much bigger issue in addition to that, and that is pharmaceuticals. The president literally went on TV on Fox and said that people's heads would spin when they see how much he would bring down pharmaceutical prices. Instead, 2,500 drugs have gone up in double digits since he came into office. Instead, he gave $100 billion in giveaways to the pharma companies. For the rest of us, for the rest of America, that's what we call at home, all foam and no beer. We got nothing out of it. And so my proposal is to do something about pharma, to take them on, to allow negotiation under Medicare, to bring in less expensive drugs from other countries. And pharma thinks they own Washington. Well, they don't your, own me. Your time is up. Thank you. <laughs> Senator. Senator Warren, you signed on to Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All plan. It would put essentially everybody on Medicare and then eliminate private plans that offer similar coverage. Is that the plan or path that you would pursue as president? So, yes, I'm with Bernie on Medicare for All, and let me tell you why. I've spent a big chunk of my life studying why families go broke. And one of the number one reasons is the cost of health care, medical bills. And that's not just for people who don't have insurance. It's for people who have insurance. Look at the business model of an insurance company. It's to bring in as many dollars as they can in premiums and to pay out as few dollars as possible for your health care. That leaves families with rising premiums, rising co-pays, and fighting with insurance companies to try to get the health care that their doctors say that they and their children need. Medicare for All solves that problem. And I understand there are a lot of politicians who say, oh, it's just not possible, we just can't do it, it's have a lot of political reasons for this. What they're really telling you is they just won't fight for it. Well, health care is a basic human right, and I will fight for basic human Senator, rights. Thank that you. Means Congressman, Congressman O'Rourke, when you ran for Senate, you also praised a bill that would replace private insurance. This year, you're saying you're no longer sure. Can you explain why? My goal is to ensure that every American is well enough to live to their full potential because they have health care. In Laredo, Texas, I met a young man, 27 years old, told me that he'd been to a doctor once in his life. And on that visit, he was told he had diabetes, he was told he had glaucoma, and he was told untreated because he doesn't have health care, he'll be dead before the age of 40. So getting to guaranteed, high-quality, universal health care as quickly and surely as possible has to be our goal. The ability to afford your prescriptions and go to a primary care provider, the, the ability to see a mental health care provider. In Texas, the single largest provider of mental health care services is the county jail system today. And health care also has to mean that every woman can make her own decisions about her own body and has access to the care that makes that possible. Our plan says that if you're uninsured, we enroll you in Medicare. If you're insufficiently insured, you can't afford your premiums, we enroll you in Medicare. But if you're a member of a union that negotiated for a health care plan that you like because it works for your you time is up. and your family, you're able to keep it. We preserve choice by making sure that everybody has health time is up, Congressman, but I do want to ask a follow-up on this one. Just to, be, just to be very clear, I'll give you 10 seconds. Would you replace private insurance? No, I, I think that choice is, is fundamental hey, wait, to wait, our Congress ability to get everybody yeah, care Private insurance is not working for tens of millions of Americans. When you talk about the co-pays, the deductibles, the premiums, the out-of-pocket expenses, it's not working. <laughs> that's How right. can you so, defend so for the those system for that's not, not working? working they can choose Medicare. For the culinary workers in the who I listen to, who the negotiated for not those working plans, for people. Uh, they're able to keep them. Why are you defending Americans private insurance? Say they like their private health insurance, by the way. It should be noted that 100 million Americans, I mean, I think we should be the party that keeps what's working and fixes what's broken. 
mean, doesn't that make sense? I mean, we should give everyone in this country health care as a basic human right for free, full stop. But we should also give them the option to buy private insurance. Why do we have to stand for taking away something from people? And also, it's bad policy. If you go to every hospital in this country and you ask them one question, which is how would it have been for you last year if every one of your bills were paid at the Medicare rate? Every single hospital administrator said they would close. And the Medicare for All bill requires payments to stay at current Medicare rates. So to some extent, we're basically supporting a bill that will have every hospital closed. I mean, my dad was a union electrician, right? I actually grew up in a working class family. He loved the health care that the IBEW gave him. And I just always think about my dad and anything I would do from a policy perspective. He'd look at me and he'd, and he'd say, good job, John, for getting health care for every American. I've, I've let, but why are you taking my health care I've let this away? play out a little bit because I'm fascinated to hear the daylight between you. Congressman Gabbard, yes. way, way in here. I think we're talking about this in the wrong way. You're talking about one bill over another bill. Really what we're talking about is our objective, making sure that every single sick American in this country is able to get the health care that they need. I believe Medicare for all is the way to do that. I also think that employers will recognize how much money will be saved by supporting a Medicare for all program, a program that will reduce the administrative costs, reduce the bureaucratic costs, and make sure that everyone gets that quality health care that they need. I also think if you, if you look at other uh, countries in the world who have universal health care, every one of them has some form of a role of, of private insurance. I think that's what we've got to look at, taking the best of these ideas, but making sure unequivocally that no sick American goes without getting right. the care that they need, regardless of how much or little money they have in their pocket. Congresswoman, let, 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 me, let me turn let's, to Senator let's, Booker on this. Senator Booker, explain to me where you are. This is a hugely important to people, so tell us where you are. I absolutely will. First of all, we're talking about this as a health care issue, but in communities like mine, low-income communities, like mine, it's an education issue because kids who don't have health care are not going to succeed in school. It is an issue for jobs and employment because people who do not have good health care do not succeed at work. It's even a retirement issue because in my community, African Americans have a lower life expectancy because of poorer health care. And so where I stand is very clear. Health care is not just a human right, it should be an American right, and I believe the best way to get there is Medicare for all, but I have an urgency about this. When I am president of the United States, I'm not going to wait. We have to do the things immediately that are going to provide better care. And on this debate, I I'm sorry, there are too many people profiteering off of the pain of people in America, from, from pharmaceutical companies to insurers. Literally, the overhead for insurers that they charge is 15 percent, while Medicare's overhead is only at 2 percent. We can do this better, and every single day I will be fighting to give people more access and more affordable costs until we get to my goal, which is, is every Senator. American Time having health care. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.